Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Shayla. If you are new around here, this is my dog, Bali. She's been like glued to my side for the last, how long have I actually been home? Not even 24 hours. If you watched my last vlog, then you know, I was just in Australia for the last two weeks and I just got home yesterday afternoon. Haven't even been home for 24 hours. I thought I would pick up the vlogging camera so I can debrief you on my trip, show you my little post travel routine and the next few days of getting back into life in New York City, which already has been shocking, if I'm gonna be honest, because I went from 80 something degree weather in Australia to less than 30 degrees in New York. It's gray, it's rainy, it's cloudy, it's sad, it's cold, and I'm doing what I can to stay positive because I am really sad to have left Australia. I had the most incredible time. Obviously, I'm happy to be home, happy to be back with the dog, but oh. My trip just went so quickly and I had the absolute best time. Being away for two weeks was amazing, but coming home, I feel like my apartment's a hot mess. My life is all over the place. I'm jet lagged, severely jet lagged. And I feel pretty out of sorts today, I'm not gonna lie. I had 36 hours total of travel yesterday, door to door. And so I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of grace over the next few days to slowly reacclimate myself to life in New York City. But anyway, let's go for a little walk, subscribe if you're new, and let's get this vlog going. Hey, mama. After a trip without unpacking also no shade if that's you but that is just not me I have to unpack immediately and I did get started on unpacking last night when I got home but I hit a wall and could not do anymore so I'm gonna finish today I feel like I have so many emails and work I need to catch up on but I just can't do it until I am semi unpacked just always been like that I think I need to get those dry cleaned while I unpack I thought I would tell you about my trip a little bit I had the most incredible time in Australia. It is such a beautiful country. It was so special and amazing getting to meet and spend time with my boyfriend Archie's family and it just was such a special trip and I'm honestly not sure that I have completely processed it all because I feel like it happened so fast but it truly felt like a dream. His family is amazing. Australia is incredible. I just had the absolute best time. I did my best to vlog the trip so that I could share it with you and document my trip while still being present with his family and really truly soaking it up and taking it all in, which was kind of a struggle if I'm gonna be honest. So apologies ahead of time if the vlog is slightly disjointed. I only started editing the Sydney footage and I already was like, wow, we're all over the place here. But I'm gonna continue to edit it over this week and hopefully put it all together and make it all make sense for you. But yeah, I just, I really can't even find the words to describe how special that trip was and how amazing it was. It was so great to finally meet his brother, Lockie, and get to spend time with Archie's nephew and brother in Sydney. That first bit of the trip went so quickly. We were really only there for three days and then I spent the remainder of my trip in Western Australia, which I am of obsessed with Western Australia. Perth is stunning. Then we went to Rottnest, as you saw. Then we went back to Perth and then down south to Yelling Up for, I would say most of the trip. We had one or two days back in Perth and then I was off on my way. My boyfriend is actually still in Australia. He's spending a couple of extra days solo with his family, which I thought was really important just because he hasn't been home in over a year, but yeah. Top to bottom, the trip was just unreal and I already miss it. I don't even know if this debrief is really doing the trip justice, but as I said, I'm still kind of at a loss for words and trying to process everything. 
I also did come home with some goodies, which I'm excited to show you. I pulled them out of my suitcase last night, but I want to try to get through the rest of this laundry. I did laundry last night already, but I want to wash the rest of this stuff. And I also want to wash my makeup brushes. My poor skin while I was there, really, it was giving me a hard time. I think just from traveling and also I had started my cycle on like the second day that I was there, which is like so funny. Murphy's Law, when you know it. <laughs> And so my skin was kind of wigging out. I'm gonna wash my suits on gentle and just like hang them to dry. Give them a nice little wash. I also wanna book workouts for the rest of the week. Just try to get back into a healthy routine over the next few days. I'm just feeling incredibly lucky and grateful. I feel like I was quite literally living out my Pinterest vision board. I'm honestly still in shock that this is my real life, that I have such an incredible boyfriend and that he has such an amazing family that I love and that I'm just like in love and this happy and that life is this good. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, honestly, I just truly couldn't be happier and that trip was exactly what I needed after a really rough end of the year. So I'm feeling like already 2024 is off to a great start. I'm gonna wash all my makeup brushes and I just like to use this brush cleaner from Beauty Blender. It does not irritate my skin. In addition to getting to meet his mom, dad, brother, sister, nephew, brother-in-law, and a bunch of his friends, I also got to meet both of his grandmas. It was so special to get to spend time with his Mima. We took her out for ice cream and had a little chat at the beach. And that was just really, really special to get to spend that time with her. And I just loved everything about my trip. I'm truly on cloud nine. Even though it's freezing cold in New York and I would much rather be at the beach, I just can't help but feel so happy and grateful after that trip. Hi, babe. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Just going to wash these on cold and delicate and then I have a couple of things I need to drop off at the dry cleaners, which we will do a little later. That feels amazing. Got all of that emptied out. I'm so excited to chat to my mom today too and fill her in on my trip. Speaking of filling people in, I'm also meeting Brooke in like an hour. Tell her all about my trip, which will be fun. I'm almost tempted to just leave all of my little travel size stuff things in here for my next trip. Just keep it easy for myself. That seems like it would be a good idea. cute. Are you just such a cute girl? You're so cute. I want to schedule some workouts for the rest of the week just so I can get myself back into a healthy routine. I'll probably do a gym workout at some point today, but tomorrow, oh, let's see, that's Brooke. We'll meet Brooke in like a half hour. I'm thinking I will do berries Tuesday, Thursday, yoga Wednesday, Friday, and we will leave the weekend open and see how we go on the weekend. We'll drop these dresses off at the dry cleaner. Grocery bags, I already made a grocery list and I feel like I'm crashing, which is not great because it's only 11 a.m., but we're gonna power through the day. We're gonna get over this jet lag. Order of events for this little errand run I'm doing is we'll see Brooke, go to the grocery store, drop off the dry cleaning, and then I also want to find some thank you cards to send to Archie's parents, his sister and brother-in-law, and his brother. Just, you know, just to say thank you and tell him I love him and show a little appreciation for the incredible trip. And also I'm just a big fan of good old fashioned handwritten note getting a little snail mail. It always brightens my day. So I love any excuse to send it to other people because I'm assuming that it would do the same for them. So don't want to forget to stop at a little boutique and find some cards. Back on the grind. <laughs>
Brooke was just telling me that she just spent $50 on flowers. A and Trader Joe's. Which so goes far. Which goes far. And uh, he asked me what the occasion was, and I told him seasonal depression. depression. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes. This weather, this weather is really sad, you guys. It really is. I just was talking about that. I mean, we went from barefoot and bikinis to boots and puffer coats real fast. Nothing like a slap in the face to welcome me back. Well, Vegemite toast and avo. Make it two. <laughs> Take your friends on your errands. We just happen to be going to this same place. Lucky me. <laughs> More time together. all of this stuff out and I will show you what I got at Whole Foods and then I also stopped at Trader Joe's quickly. Got mushrooms, carrots, onion, broccoli for a little veggie stir fry, tofu, lasagna noodles, eggplant, zucchini, spinach, and marinara sauce so I can prep my vegan lasagna. I also got another bag of spinach for smoothies. We used to blend oat milk for my morning coffee. My favorite oranges, sumo oranges. Some cilantro, cucumber, bell pepper, avocado, cabbage, and a couple packets of peanut butter because I think I wanna try to make some rice paper wraps but I actually couldn't find any any of the actual rice paper things. So I'll have to try and get that tomorrow. Then at Trader Joe's, I just got some more organic jasmine rice for that veggie stir fry and a bunch of organic ginger shots. I'm actually gonna do a ginger shot right now with a packet of vitamin C and glutathione since I did not take them this morning because I was out of my little ginger shots. I am feeling pretty productive today and I'm feeling so good after catching up with Brooke and telling her all about my trip. It's so fun to share about my trip with everyone because I feel like I'm reliving it and showing pictures and like reminiscing. Speaking of which, I need to call my mom and fill her in. I wanted to chat to her yesterday, but I was so tired. I just like could not do it. I couldn't do it. I kind of feel like I'm about to hit a wall again soon. So I should probably do that because I want to chat to her <laughs> before I run out of energy today completely. I've been like waiting to go through all of my little goodies that I picked up on my trip so that I can show you. And also just because I want to savor every last bit of this trip. I had a great time if you couldn't tell. So I'm trying to just milk this for as long as I can. I picked up some things on my trip and I thought I would show you. First bottle of red that Arch and I got at one of the wine tastings that we went to at Cullen Winery in Margaret River. We did a wine tasting there as you probably saw in my Australia vlog and this was our favorite red from the tasting. So we got a bottle to bring home. We also got a bottle of rosé from Voyager winery, but he's bringing that back in a suitcase. We had to divide and conquer when it came time to bringing home stuff. I also got this beach towel when I was down south in Yelling Up. How cute is this? It's so me and I'm just obsessed with it. Gonna use this all summer long. Of course, I had to bring home some Vegemite and pawpaw ointment. Then when we went to Wise Winery, I had to get this bottle of gin because I thought it was so pretty and I thought it would be really pretty on my shelf in my kitchen because I have a bottle of pink gin that I got in London in like 2018 that I never drank. And I thought it was only fitting that I add to my collection. This one is a ginger infused gin the bottle was very pretty so we'll put that up on my shelf and then my boyfriend's mom actually gave me a bottle of lotion by this brand we are feel good ink it's this cocoa milk lotion and it is amazing so i had to buy some to bring home and then i also got sensitive sunscreen and then i just went to town and also got lip balm that has spf in it as well as sensitive sunscreen for my face the sun in australia is on a whole nother level like it's so insanely strong so i was really good about using sunscreen and I really liked this brand, so I thought I would bring some home. And then in Rottnest, I found this really cute magnet that I thought was so me to add to my fridge. And then I also got a couple of postcards, one of which I will send to my mom. Speaking of my mom, in Sydney, I got her this cute little magnet. And then in Bondi, we found this really cool little local artist market. And I got her this beautiful bracelet. And the cool thing about this bracelet is that each bracelet is inspired by an animal that is native to Australia and she loves koalas. And so I got her the little koala inspired bracelet. 
I also got myself one inspired by the pink lake. Of course, pink, my favorite. I thought this was really pretty. And then this is the brand Bands of Courage in case you want to look her up. And then the other cool thing about this brand is that every bracelet that's purchased, they plant 10 trees. Really wanted to find something that was locally made in Australia and also loved that these bracelets had a cool backstory to them. Just makes it all the more special. I also got two more, one for my friend Eugen and then another one for my friend Veronica because they watched Bali for me while I was gone. And then my boyfriend's mom had this to-go mug, this little keep cup that they had in this shop down south, but they only had blue ones left and she happened to have a pink one. And she's so sweet, she gave it to me. She's like, I know you like this one. You should take it because I don't use it and I'm obsessed with it and I'm gonna use it all the time, it's so pretty. Speaking of my boyfriend's mom, she had this great black bag that I just was obsessed with. So obsessed that I went out and got myself one from David Jones. The brand is Chichuca. If I can find it online, I will link it below, but it's like this stretchy material, it comes with this little clutch inside. It's a great beach bag, I needed it. Also, I love that I was like influenced by my boyfriend's mom. <laughs> oh yeah, I also had to get myself some Uggs while I was there. Can't go to Australia and not get a pair of Uggs. So I got myself some mini Uggs and fun fact, only the Uggs that are made in Australia say Jumbo Ugg Australia on them. So that's how you know that they are authentic. Very excited about these. The last couple of things I got, I got this really cute t-shirt from Daisy's in Cottesloe, this little cafe. Just thought this could be a really cute sleep t-shirt or maybe I'll wear this with like bike shorts in the summer. Love this little cafe and I loved this morning with my boyfriend when we got acai bowls. It was like actually my last morning there. So that is a fun little keepsake. Speaking of my boyfriend, he knew I needed a keychain for my keys. And so he got me this cute little koala keychain when we were in Sydney. So freaking cute, I love it. And then the last thing I got myself was some new perfume. I was looking for a new scent. Love the way this one smelled. And the scent is called 22, which if you didn't know, 22 is my lucky number. So I just had to get it. I got it at this really cute little boutique when we were down south. And I really love getting a scent when you are on a special trip because every time you smell it, it just reminds you of the place and the trip and the experience. And that's exactly what this one does. So very happy about this. It was meant to be. And other than that, I just brought home some abalone shells from when my boyfriend and his dad caught abalone they were gonna throw them out and I was like these are so pretty I would love to take one home and I'm gonna give my mom one too because my mom loves abalone and I think that it's just kind of cool that my boyfriend and his dad caught them and they were like hand-picked out of the Indian Ocean so that is my little Australian shopping haul. I feel very good about my purchases. I feel like everything was purchased mindfully and all stuff found locally which makes it all the more special. See my keys needed something. Oh, he's so cute. I love it. Cute little magnet. Maybe I'll stick it. Mm, yeah, I think we'll just slide these down. Stick it right there. Cute. Going to meal prep my vegan lasagna right now while I call my mom and catch up with her and fill her in on my trip. The recipe for my vegan lasagna is up on my blog and I will link that below for you. Okay, I'm officially crashing. It is 4.30 and I'm so exhausted. I just sat down on the couch after making that lasagna and chatting to my mom and I just feel like I cannot get off the couch. I know I need to stay awake for as long as possible so that I can try to get back on a normal sleeping routine here, but oh my God. My plan was to go down and do a workout, but I just like, I don't know if I have it in me. 
I really don't know if I have it in me. I'm so tired. Maybe I take a hot bath instead, bake the lasagna, do a little mask, and give myself one more night off. I don't know. You know, I had high hopes to go down to the gym and get a workout in. I don't have it in me, and I just can't do it. So we're gonna do some self-care instead. I'm going to do a little bubble bath, and I want to do a little face mask, and I'm thinking this detox mask from Caudalie is perfect. So glad I prepped this lasagna as well, because we'll just pop this in the oven and have an early night. Jet lag one, Shayla zero. Huge mistake not working out last night because I was up every hour on the hour last night from 10 o'clock until now almost 4 a.m. And I am giving up the good fight. I tried everything and I feel like the only thing I can do is to get up and get going and like fight through the day and try to stay awake as long as possible. The time zone difference between Perth and New York is 13 hours, so it's quite literally the opposite and I was there for two weeks so I am not surprised that I'm struggling but oh my gosh this is so frustrating so I am making the executive decision to get up now because I cannot I have not been able to fall asleep for the last like 40 minutes or an hour and I'm gonna fight through the day I'm gonna fight through the day and reset by just keeping myself busy all day I'm gonna do whatever it takes starting with decaf coffee so I can try to not spike my cortisol. I feel like now's the perfect time to just continue editing my Australia vlog. Why not? Four hours. Three coffees later, I'm done with the first round of edits on this vlog. It's time to walk little Bali girl and take a break because I've just been sitting nonstop editing. Should we brave the cold and take you out? Do you wanna go for a little walk? It looks really frigid out there, I'm not gonna lie. Tis the season to layer up sweatpants over your workout set. All about the layers in January. And I think I'll wear my new little Ugg boots that I got. Decided that I want to make some mushroom spinach avocado toast or something and I don't have any bread so we're gonna go to the market also getting some tart cherry juice because I know this is helpful for sleep just got whatever sourdough bread they had and I'm going to toast it do some sauteed mushrooms spinach and garlic a little Vegemite and possibly some avocado depending on whether or not my avocado is ready And then I'm gonna do some hemp hearts on top for a little extra protein. That was yummy. Time for my vitamins. I also feel like I should just tell you I already had my celery juice and my sauerkraut and all that good stuff. It is 6.30, I decided to go and get my nails done after my workout. I've worn myself completely out. I'm exhausted. I stopped at Whole Foods and got some melatonin because I am determined to sleep tonight. So I'm gonna head home, have some lasagna, shower, and hopefully go to bed soon. When I say I hit a wall last night, I feel like I literally hit a wall last night. I was literally nodding off during my nail appointment, like waking myself up. <laughs> 
which by the way, I went with red since Valentine's Day is upon us. I used this Olive and June color. It is called Candy Dipped. I will link it below. But like truly could barely stay awake for my nail appointment. I am happy to report I did stay awake until 9.30 and then I was out. I only woke up a couple of times. I did wake up at 4.30, I think this morning, which is still not great, but it's better, it's better. And I actually think these melatonin gummies that I got from Whole Foods last night really helped. Save the box to show you. I will also link these below. It's been a very slow morning for me today. I've been trying to catch up on admin work. I have a lot more to do, but I thought I would make a little smoothie. I feel like that will give me another little kick of energy. I'm gonna try my best to stay awake until 10 tonight. Oh my gosh, I was so tired last night. I totally forgot to even drink my tart cherry juice. I was so out of it. I also am sorry because I feel like all I've been talking about is how tired I am, but that's just my reality right now. <laughs> Also, I normally use milk, oat milk, but they were out, so I'm trying this seed and oat oat milk that has just as clean of ingredients as that milk oat milk that I like to use. Also going to add in some aloe vera juice and collagen, some vegan protein, lots of cinnamon, frozen blueberries and bananas, and a big, handful of fresh spinach. I'm also gonna do a packet of Peak BT Fountain for some extra electrolytes. And because I love my drinks, I'm gonna make a coffee as well. <laughs> get myself set up with all my drinks. I can sit down with my computer and get all of my admin work done. I need to just like focus and power through it right now. Set the vibe. I want to write and send off these little cards. And I also want to ship my mom's gifts that I got for her while in Australia. all multitask here and take Bali for a walk and we'll go to the post office and send these things. Okay, I'm going to attempt to make some rice paper rolls. I have some cabbage, avocado, bell pepper, cucumber, and cilantro. Let you dip this in warm water for five seconds. It's not very pretty. <laughs> that might be the ugliest rice paper roll that you've ever seen, but we'll see, hopefully it's good. <laughs> I think I need to work faster. Okay, let's try that again. How do these restaurants make them so tight? This is really not good. And then for the sauce, I'm just gonna use peanut butter and tamari. But I mean, please, if you're watching this and you have tips for how to wrap these better, leave me a comment, please, because those did not come out looking very good. I'm sure they'll be delicious, but the perfectionist in me is like, well, those are really, really fugly. <laughs> I think I'll do some sesame seeds on top too. The presentation it needs some work, but they're actually really good. I'm not gonna let this be my last attempt.
It has been a pretty uneventful day as far as vlogging goes. Oiling my hair using this rosemary oil on my scalp, and then I will do castor oil on the rest of my hair. I have quite literally been sitting at my computer for the last eight hours doing admin work. Just for context, it is 12.45, which means I have been sitting at my computer since like 4 a.m. <laughs> I say uneventful just in terms of vlogging because sitting at the computer is not very exciting to watch, but it was eventful in the sense that I finally picked a day for the Yoga Inspired Life program to begin, which is February 26th. I'm so excited. I already sent out info emails and I've been reading through applications and it just is such an inspiring, fulfilling part of the work that I do. And it just always moves me on a deep level getting to connect with like-minded people who have found me from all over the world. Getting to be part of people's self-development and healing journey is really healing for me, honestly. So that's been exciting. If you're curious to learn more about the program, you can head to the description box. I have a link to the program page. And from there, you can add yourself to the wait list. And now until probably February 23rd, I'll be sending out emails daily to the wait list and forming the group for the program. This actually might end up being the only cycle of the Yoga Inspired Life program that I run in 2024, just because in the coming months, I'm going to be focusing on some special projects that I really want to devote some time and energy to. So I don't know that I'll have the time to be present for any more cycles of the Yoga Inspired Life program, but we'll see. Obviously that could change as time goes on. As of right now, it's looking like this will be the one and only cycle. Heading to my second Fairies workout of the week. Still honestly sore from Tuesday. <laughs> but we're getting back in the swing of things. Also very excited because I just got a notification that my disposable film camera photos are developed and ready to be picked up. So that's gonna be fun, little treat. I do a new roll of film for every season. And I started that, I think like last fall. Also, sorry, I'm like so out of breath and power walking. They wanna try to pick up my photos before class and I probably didn't leave early enough, but we're gonna see if we can make it happen. later because I have my workout to get to but yay yeah he's in there you have to wait no barking. No barking. <laughs> cheers wait what is this again that you made uh, yum this is gorgeous and the babies Veronica, still waiting for Yuji. She's going to get our, our planta food, but this looks so yummy. Yay, burgers, <laughs> vegan burgers. It's a puppy party. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> With her back legs out like that, that's so funny. I don't know why she's kind of like a little cat. Did you have fun when you stayed here? Yeah. He's so cute. Hi. <laughs> really? Yeah. The corners of our rooms are the best. Oh, yeah. Oh Girls' night with two boys. Cheers. <laughs> human being after getting a good night's rest last night. I'm currently getting ready because I have a brand call in like 30 minutes. So I wanted 
to be presentable for that. I'm actually gonna have a little bit of lunch before this call. I'm kind of hungry and it's almost 12. And I think I'm gonna do the rest of my vegan lasagna that I made. One little square left, so that's perfect. It is so gray, rainy, and depressing out that I decided to put on my brightest outfit and come down to the gym to do a little movement to kind of shift some stagnant energy around and cultivate some good vibes. 